get down the road as fast as we can. These snowplow crews in Yellowstone National Park have to hurry because they need to clear more than 322 miles of roads in just weeks. What we're doing is the snow blowers are coming up. The cats get ahead of them and take the snow down to a level where the blowers can come along. And the lead guy comes and then we got the other blowers will come in behind them. Jaron is standing near Sylvan Lake at the east entrance. It's one of four areas, shown in red, that are still snow covered. Blue areas are plowed but still closed to visitors. Without this work, the park wouldn't open to traffic for weeks perhaps months. Our biggest problems is the snow depth and uh, how hard the snow is. And the harder it is, the slower it goes and then it breaks our equipment down. It's a bluebird day up here in Sylvan Pass and these guys love it. They're taking a little break right now after they've spent the last hour or so pushing snow with the dozers and the big blowers. But when they're pushing, they're throwing snow hundreds of feet and cutting through three, four, five feet at a time. This is an easy stretch where the snow is only about five feet deep. Later on, it's going to be more than 20 feet deep. To give you an idea of what it's like inside one of these monsters, here's Chet. That's right, John. You mentioned the inside of the cab. The inside of the cab is where the slow work begins, moving along, pushing snow off the road, one partial lane at a time. Uh, somewhere around anywhere between three to four miles. That's miles of road cleared each day. It's slow, tedious, and sometimes dangerous work. But it also has its upside. I love it. I love doing this. It's nice. You get the, you get the park kind of to yourself for, for a while. I mentioned the danger. By the end of this week, they'll be on Sylvan Pass. And that's avalanche country. Well, you got to wear beacons and whatnot, and then know how to find somebody if an avalanche does occur. Day by day, the park's snowmobile trails become automobile highways. But at this pace, even the beauty of Yellowstone can wear on you. You do, yeah. About uh, May, when you got to go home and mow your lawn, and you're still going to work, and you're in the about six feet of snow, it gets a little tiring. The best part of working wintertime in Yellowstone National Park, this by far the most peaceful time of the year in the nation's oldest national park. Near Sylvan Lake in Yellowstone with John Shear, Chet Lehman, MTN News.